Let's continue trinomial factoring. So number 4, so x squared minus 6x minus 16. So when you look at this one carefully, so can you find out the leading coefficient? So there's no number which represents actually 1. So now even though we move this one here, this value doesn't change. So we can just begin from step 2, which is t chart. So negative 16 and minus 6 here. And then we know a equal to 1. So just in case I put a equal to 1, so it remind later we will divide uh, each factor by 1. Now look at those these two numbers carefully. Negative 16 and negative 6 here. We are gonna find out two factors, and then when you when you multiply two factors, they are proud to become negative number, which means two factor will have different sign. Now this number, when you multiply their sum become negative, which means the bigger absolute factor is negative sign, and smaller one will have positive sign. So I'm gonna make bigger number positive um, negative sign sorry negative sign and smaller one positive sign here okay when you break down 16 we can make 16 times 1 and 8 times 2 and 4 times 4 here okay so out of these three pairs which pair will give you some become negative 6 yes this one so, negative 8 and positive 2, their sum become negative 6. So, I'm going to choose these two factors and now open to parentheses and put x minus 8 over 1 and x plus 2 over 1. Then, answer become x minus 8 and x plus 2. I, you may wonder why we have divide by 1 here. I mean, if you understand, we don't have to do this step, then that's totally fine. But I want to keep the same step, that's the reason. I'm going to show a equal to 1, and at the end, I divide each factor by 1. Okay, let's move on number 5. When you look at number 5, uh, this trinomial is a little bit different from others because the leading exponent become 4. Up to now, we only cover leading, uh, leading power was 2, but this time we have 4 here. So, I'm going to go by number 4 and then just compare two terms, which is x square and the x relationship. So, let me ask you one question. So, what's the x times x? which is x squares, right? So, this is always square of this number. Now, I'm going to go back to our number 5, and then what is the a square to the square? Yes, this is the a fourth. So, similar relationship compared to number 4. So now we can say this is also trinomial. To make it a little bit easier to see, I'm going to temporarily make h equal to a square. Then what about h square? Then there will be a to the fourth powers. Right? So, now we can rewrite this polynomial temporary h square minus 5h plus 4. Now, let's factoring this trinomial. So, through t-chart, and then 4 here, and minus 5 here. As you see, it is no number, which means a equal to 1. Please remember that. No number means a equal to 1. Okay? Now, we break 4, then become 4 times 1, and that's it. Now, but when you look at this number, it becomes negative 5. 
which means both numbers must be negative because you know two factor become four which means oh actually I forgot two and two here but four times one becomes four and then negative four times negative one also become four as well so in this case these two factors must be both negative sign here now we complete factoring so far so become h minus 4 over 1 and then h minus 1 over 1 which means h minus 4 and then h minus 1 but please don't stop here because h was a squared so this one becomes a squared minus 4 and then a squared minus 1 here later we will talk about more but this is the so far final answer okay actually this one we can do one more time so the answer becomes a plus 2 and a minus 2 and a plus 1 and a minus 1 so this one is the case for uh, split binomial factoring so i'm gonna review the problem later but that's the final answer Okay?